Hey, what's up? Santi here, and I finally found a solution to a problem that I had for the longest time in Obsidian. I use folders, okay? So don't judge me before you do. I do have a podcast episode talking about the use of folders versus tags versus links. But either way, the point is that I do use folders in Obsidian. And my biggest annoyance in Obsidian has been that if I'm navigating and I just stumble upon a note, it's really hard to tell to which folder this note belongs to. So the way that I've been doing this is with the command palette. There's a command that lets you see where does this file belong in your folders. But even then, you have to scroll quite a bit to find which folder it belongs to. And if you have subfolders, it becomes a bit more annoying and confusing. So I finally stumbled upon a solution, a plugin called Path Title that solves this in the most elegant way. It lets you see the folder structure right next to your title. So that way you can see which folder each node belongs to or which subfolders it even belongs to. It shows you the full path. It's incredible. If your folder names are too long, you can also abbreviate them and make them shorter or use emojis. So it's a really cool plugin. I'll show you just in one minute. Before that, let me just say that I'm doing my first giveaway for Obsidian. You can participate to win $100 worth of Obsidian services. So this means Obsidian Sync or Obsidian Publish. I've never done a giveaway like this before, so I'm quite excited for it. So yeah, I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video. The information is also in the description, so you can participate right now. I'm very excited for it, but with that said, let's get into today's video. All right, so let me show you here is what things look like in obsidian if we have this file right here and we want to know to which folder it belongs to we have to do the command palette ctrl p or command p reveal active file in navigation look at that we can see that this belongs to folder 3 which belongs to folder 2 which belongs to folder 1 right but we would like to just see this without having to do that so we're gonna activate the plugin we're gonna go to the settings down here to the gear icon community plugins browse we're gonna search for path title that's what it's called we're gonna install it and then we're gonna enable it and look at that magic right here. How beautiful, we don't need to do the command. So this is what it looks without it and with it. Much better, so cool. And of course you can assign a shortcut to the reveal. I actually have Alt F, you know, so I can do Alt F and that will reveal that. And in this case, it's obviously not bad at all. I can just reveal it and see exactly where it belongs to. But in a file like this, I can easily see right here it belongs to projects and if I do the shortcut, you can see that I actually have to scroll quite a bit to see that it's in projects. And if you have way more files than this, it's going to be way more annoying. Here's another good example where I just timestamp one of my videos. And if I just search it where it belongs in, I actually have to scroll quite a bit to see that this belongs to Readwise articles. Whereas just like that, I can see Readwise slash articles. It saves me so much time. It helps me know exactly where I am at any time. So that is extremely helpful. Here are a couple more examples. You can see diagrams slash examples, Readwise tweets, the year and themes. These are some random ones, but hopefully you get the idea. Oh, Jordan Peterson, that, that wasn't planned. <laughs> now here's something really cool that you can do to customize this because there's cases where maybe the names are a bit too long or you would like them to look slightly different. So one of the things that we can do is we can go to the settings, community plugins. I'm going to search for the name of the plugin to this gear icon. And now here's a couple of settings that you can do. Well, first off, I do prefer doing it a bit larger, as you can see up there. It does increase the size, which I prefer. Now, these path replacement settings look a bit daunting and a bit confusing, but don't worry, they're pretty easy to set up once you get them. So for instance, let's say, as you can see here, we see readwise slash books, right? That's what we see on this path, readwise slash books. And if you want to replace that full path, what we can do is we can just select it here, readwise slash books. If you scroll down, you'll see there's nothing to scroll to, but once you click in here at replacement, you're gonna see there's a new section right here. You're gonna leave this as it is because you just created it that way. And here you can replace this whole path, readwise slash books for let's say an emoji. So I'm just gonna open this emoji box and we're gonna select books, right? And look at that, you probably already saw it up there. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can just see that the path readwise slash books is replaced by books. Now, if you don't want to select the whole path, what you can also do right now, I'm gonna delete this. You're just gonna remove it. It returns back to normal. But what you can also do, and what I prefer is exact folder replacement. So I want to leave the readwise, but I do want to change the books and the books I can change into the emoji that we want. So we're gonna go here, select the particular folder that we're looking for called books. There we go. You, if you scroll down, you'll see that this is empty. But once you add this, you're gonna have some place to scroll. And now again, you can leave this as it is, leave this as it is. And then here, we're gonna select the emoji that we want and it goes, right here just as we wanted so we leave the readwise and we change the books to this emoji and you can do this to all types of things here we have books maybe we could do it to the tweets right here so again as you can see we have readwise slash tweets i'm gonna go to the settings i'm gonna select that particular one tweets i'm gonna replace this for well we don't have a bluebird so we're gonna use this chicken right here 
<laughs> and look at that readwise slash twitter in our mind we know that the chicken means twitter so there you have it i really like customizing things into making them into either emojis or just like any sort of simpler version of a title especially if the title folder if the folder title is a bit too long so there you go there you have it so there you go, it's a really cool plugin. I really hope you enjoyed it. Now going back to this giveaway. So it's a hundred dollars worth of credit in Obsidian that you can use towards Obsidian Sync or Obsidian Publish. So this means at the current prices, that would be one year of Obsidian Sync or have a year of Obsidian published, so I think that's pretty cool. Now, I saw this contest as a way to particularly thank those of you that have gotten one of my courses. So that is why that is one of the prerequisites. So for those of you that have gotten my courses, you just fill in the form and you're automatically entered in the contest. Uh, you can still join one of my courses if you haven't yet. Honestly, it really helps a lot. Of course, if you can't afford it, I totally understand it, but the only prerequisite to fill in the form to enter the contest is to have enrolled to one of my courses. The Obsidian course is really good for Obsidian beginners that are trying to build a building block to make use of this amazing app and all of its plugins which have grown into something a bit uncontrollable and just taking life of its own so i've seen it is awesome and if it wasn't for i've seen it, it wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing so yeah this content is really a thank you to those of you that have supported me through getting my course through watching my videos honestly your trust in me and you liking my videos has meant the world to me if it wasn't for you wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing so thank you so much i hope this is a way in which you can get a bit of extra value so so because there isn't an infinite amount of students your chances of winning these are quite high i'll leave the link down there where you can just enter by putting your contact information so that i'll let you know if you win there you'll also find maybe some other questions that you might have and if you have any more questions just comment here on this youtube video so with that said best of luck more info on the due dates and when i will announce the winner again in the link so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye Like in doing that <laughs> fall down is really fun. So yeah, bye.